Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to change the speed for your iClone motion file. That is what we call the iMotions and RL motion file in your iClone 7 3D animation software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, I will just open my iClone 7. As demo, I will just drag out an avatar from here, for example, Christian. So once I drag, drag him out, Wait for a while until this avatar is loaded into the iClone 7 3D animations. At this moment, he don't have any of the motion yet. That's why it still show as a T-pose. And now I can add an animation from here. I choose from templates under the motions. For example, I want to give him the Hades motion to perform a dance. For example, the air dance, I drag. When I play, this is a dance a standard speed. And to check the speed, you have to click here. And always remember, you click here, fit to window, so that you can see the whole project. Totally, you have 1,800 frames. And now it's fit to window, it shows everything. And this is the dance. Now if you play, this is a normal speed. What about if I want to change the speed and save it as a new iClone motion file? I can just right click here, set the speed. If I want to set it much faster, I can just put like 400. 400, that means four times faster than the original. I apply it. Now you can see it already shortened four times. And now I try to play from, from the first frame. Now it is much faster. And then next, if you want to save this animation, this as an iClone motion file, you have to drag the range. You have to, to drag the, this range so that it only included here. If you play, it only include this part only. So this is where we are going to, to export. Okay, you can drag here as well when you play. All right, now, that is the end of the, the motions. All right, this is the faster version. So we want to save, save it as a new RL motion file. We can just go to, go to the custom, select the motions it's at here, then custom, motions, and double click. You must make sure you already selected this avatar, and then you click plus. And now it, it is already saved as a new motion file. If you want to find this file, you right click it, find the file. And then it, it will show in the folder. This is the one, the iClone motion file that you can apply in any other avatar, this one. So to test it, let's say next time when you want to use it, you don't want to save Christian, you select no. And now I want to apply it at a new avatar, for example, I want to change it and apply on another, another avatar here. Then I just need to go, go back to the animations and custom, motions. This is the one that I just saved. So drag here. And you can see it automatically apply on this avatar when I try to play. This avatar also can use the new motion file, the new iClone motion file, or RL motion file that already saved it there. And now you can apply it in any other avatar. All right, that's all for today about how to change the speed for any of the iClone motion file, the, I, the RL motion file, and save it as a dedicated new iClone motion file, and you should be able to apply in any other iClone avatar. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.